Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL Season 13, Round of 32, Group E. We got, this is a stacked group. You got Dreamer and Too, too Sexy for You, Rev. Rev, uh, I guess I should just say Too Sexy. I'll just go with Too Sexy. Upper left-hand corner as the appropriate skin peach Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Dreamer. Starting as the green Protoss, I am just going to say it outright i have a huge bias towards dreamer this season particularly because dreamer getting to the semifinals twice in a row these last two seasons also dreamer commentating the russian stream so if you happen to speak russian i guess i shouldn't advertise this to other people hey guys check out all the other commentators out there that aren't me but point being if you <laughs> if you prefer uh, native russian to english dreamer does in fact have his own stream out there i guess i have enough confidence in my own level of uh Streaming and casting that don't have any qualms about. Uh, apparently, it's a bit laggy in this game, so we'll see. Lag can be a big factor, particularly in uh, mirror matchups. Looks like we see a pylon. This is on revolver, by the way. We see a pylon near the Vespine Geyser here for Dreamer. We see a forward gateway, not exactly forward, a little bit near the ramp gateway here for Sexy. And I'm going to be interested how Revolver plays out PvP in particular. It looks like first scout. Let's see if it heads south. It looks like it is heading south. That will be the first scout advantage for Sexy over Dreamer. Dreamer previously showing very, very strong PvP in particular with some incredible micromanagement. It looks like skipping the second pylon. Getting gas a little bit earlier on this side of things. So pylon gateway, which suggests... That we might be going for just straight... Actually, never mind. Cross-spawn scout, first of all. That's unfortunate. So Sexy not getting the first scout off. However, Dreamer, let's see if he does any sort of adjustment with this probe. He's going bottom right first. He might end up with a miffed scouting pattern. Depending, he's now grabbing his gas as well. First cell being produced on this side. Again, yeah, I expected just because of the lack... Actually, Cyber Next Core before second pylon, even. So, interesting play here. So really pushing the tech on Sexy's part. We'll see how this plays out. And I'm wondering if this is going to be trying to get... So there is initial Zealot being produced. I was wondering if we we're going to see an early Dragoon and then maybe an attempt to box out the ramp and deny some information. We'll see how the game plays out from here. Sexy scouting upper right. So it's going to get last scout on Dreamer, unfortunately. Dreamer is going to get that, first, that second Zealot out. To go ahead and blockade that ramp. So no scout on this end. And I don't know. We'll see if there's a second. No, it's going to be a Dragoon produced. So both players are going to be playing somewhat in the dark. Based on scouting patterns. I really do want to see what this map looks like. As far as standard PvP. Because Revolver has such a huge amount of disruption. That happens. In all of the other matchups. 973 gets disrupted. I feel a lot of the early turn pushes. Because of just trying to get it a little bit negated. Just trying to get units out of these uh, ramp areas and trying to push them in particular areas. Against Protoss, you kind of have to siege from the low ground. You can sometimes execute that very early robotics facility. The two Zelt's going to go ahead and blockade this out. Dreamer going to take an initial shot, seize the pylon, but nothing else is going to go ahead and get knocked out otherwise. So it's just going to be one gate robotics facility, and I'm wondering if this is going to be just observer tech, given the lack of information that Sexy has, or if it's going to be some potential sort of either Reaver play or Reaver drop. I think it is going to be just one gate robo observatory because we do see Dragoon range being upgraded. Dream moving out, and that's allowing the probe to sneak by, but the probe getting cleaned up by this Dragoon, it looks like Dreamer is going to go ahead and opt, at least saving some minerals here, to go just one gate into Nexus and pressuring behind this Maybe hoping to get additional scouting information. Second gateway being plopped down. Looking for... There it is. Robotic support base. So we are going to see a Reaver opening from Sexy. The Zealot's pressing the ramp. This is a misfire chance going up here. Dreamer able to get one Zealot down. And actually now on top of the Dragoons with these additional Zealots. So at the very least, might be able to get a scout off. So walking up, seeing the two gates, I think he saw the robotic facility as well. And if the Zealot walks up and sees that support bay, that would be absolutely huge. Sees the moving cybernetic score, but keep in mind, Sexy delayed the pylon by quite a bit. I think Dreamer has a good sense of this. He might want to plop down. He's getting his own robotics facility. 
And really what I'm hoping that he plops down is some more gateways to get some more Dragoons to deal with this. If he's going to try to defend these two Nexi, Nexus, off just one gateway's worth of Dragoons, it could be very much a challenge for him. Particularly, looks like he's getting his own robotic support bay and observatory. Particularly if Sexy decides to push up with his own Dragoons. Although it looks like Dragoon production paused a little bit here. As that first Reaver in production. At this stage, it looks like Sexy is just going to play a little bit more defensively. So rather than going for the... That's an interesting play. So rather than going... Maybe because it was scouted. Rather than going hyper-aggressive with this Reaver. And going for a shuttle drop. So really push the tech. But instead has opted to just get that Reaver out. Hang out here in the natural expansion with uh, just a few mounted Dragoons and take that Nexus in more, uh, more safely. Unfortunately, that's going to put him economically behind. So going for a leap in tech, but because there is that opt for that leap in tech, is going to be a slight delay economically. However, in the overall Reaver count, might have a slight advantage, at least in that turn. I do like this play here of getting that Reaver out a little bit earlier, because you can see where if there are pushes from your Protoss opponent, Coming up this ramp in particular, even from this ramp, where it just ends up being uh, you, you just funnels. And so Reavers absolutely obliterate units moving into that area. Honestly, I feel like what might be a factor, a major factor in these matches, you can see Dreamer is actually already staging up to deal with Reaver drops potentially incoming, so he was expecting it. What might be a big factor in PvP play is just getting to High Templar as rapidly as possible, and actually probes in a pylon here along this corner, so definitely expecting a drop. It looks like that first Observer might get picked off. It's going to be close. Trailing does manage to get sniped, but Sexy got a good look, sees the two gateways, sees the, sees the robotics facility. Both sides going ahead and getting a shuttle out. So Sexy just now at the 714-ish mark, dropping getting a transfer to his natural expansion. This is going to give Dreamer a sizable advantage. He's moving up with his own Observer, is going to be able to go ahead and see everything on this side is in fact going to catch, I think might even catch these two Reavers, might even be able to see what goes in that shuttle from that edge. Yeah. And sees a good look at what he's up against, a big sizable attack force at that natural expansion. I think Sexy mostly having that in place for more of a defensive measure than an offensive measure does have a single Reaver advantage, but again, this is a lot of territory to cover, and I don't think this it would be advisable to push against at this stage of the match. Dreamer, in the meantime, has about 11 supply lead, has a, his natural expansion up a little bit more rapidly, is tacking on additional gateways. So supply lead, probe lead, few other leads. I think there was a probe I just missed getting obliterated as it was walking up into that natural expansion. Or maybe I missed the Observer getting wrecked. Yeah, I think the Observer actually got wrecked. Dreamer just still camping out just in case Reaver... But I should also note that two of these probes this entire time, one's been sitting at the 9 o'clock location, another's been sitting here at the 6 o'clock location, waiting for, I think mostly for scouting purposes, to provide vision. Forge warping in for Dreamer to go ahead and push to tech. And I think... Now, Sexy with a very... Oh, this is unfortunate. So that shuttle getting spotted. A pylon being plopped. Oh, the probe trying to run for his life. wonder if that pylon is going to just get cancelled or not. Dragoon starting to move forward and stage. We do have a... That's interesting. Was this a self-proxy pylon? Or th this, is this is odd. So Sexy placing this pylon to the north. But usually if you... This is a typical third base to take. And Dreamer, unfortunately, might end up... So he's moving around. I'm not sure if this is lucky or unfortunate. Looks like it's going to be fortunate. Moving into the natural expansion right as Sexy was moving out. Sexy going end around, but now he's going to end up in a situation where he's having to fire uphill. The shuttle taking fire from the low ground. Let's see if the Reavers can even get in play. The Reavers exposed to the Dragoons to the right. The second shuttle looks like it's already dropped off Reavers at the other location, so these Reavers look like they're going to take taken out. Not much of a, a battle right there. Several probes getting annihilated, so Sexy might be able to clean this attack force up. 
with reinforcements, but he's certainly taken an immense amount of damage at the natural expansion, lost both of his Reavers, lost his shuttle, and I take it back, Dreamer still sitting here with troops. He dropped his two Reavers at the robotic facility here to, wow, to just do damage, and that is going to be game with one outmaneuver. Incredible play from Dreamer in game one. I hope that wasn't the final match and I ended up with the, the flip on it. We'll see. But great positional play from Dreamer, just catching Sexy completely out of position. And I don't know if that was just uh, instinctual timing. I'm just not that level of uh, Protoss player to know. I would like to hear it. But Dreamer just pouncing on that play. Great play from his end. That was almost like a... I don't, I don't know what to call that. That was some definitely like Napoleonic style moves. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.